Driving rain and high winds continued to batter California today. Power was knocked out in parts of Riverside County in Southern California. Up north in Mendocino County, a mudslide knocked a Caltrans truck down a bank and almost into the ocean. Today's storms are providing help with the state's historic drought. But as Carter Evans reports, after four years of waiting, scientists in California are through relying on nature alone. Rainfall like this is so rare in Southern California that Los Angeles County is hoping to squeeze out every drop by cloud seeding from ground stations like this one. There are 10 of these locations uh, throughout the San Gabriel Mountains. Kurjan Lee is with the LA County Department of Public Works, which has paid half a million dollars to a cloud seeding contractor promising to make more rain. When you say the term cloud seeding, a lot of people think it's just hocus pocus. Well, this actually comes with a lot of science behind it. Cloud seeding works when silver iodide particles are sprayed into a saturated cloud. They act like a nucleus, which attracts supercooled water vapor that freezes into ice. Once the ice becomes heavy enough, it falls and melts to become rain. Is it wishful thinking? It is wishful thinking. Graham Stevens studies clouds and weather systems for NASA. Does cloud seeding work? And it's been shown that under certain circumstances, it works, but in any very marginal way, and even then you'll be difficult to prove how much actually increases occurred. LA County officials insist they can get up to 15% more rainfall with no health risks. Do people have to worry that their water systems may be contaminated from cloud seeding? No, absolutely not. Cloud seeding is absolutely safe. How much more water do you think you can actually get out of these clouds? Based on our 50-year study, we think we can get an additional 1.5 billion gallons a year. And that would be a welcome sight in Southern California's depleted reservoirs. Carter Evans, CBS News, Los Angeles.